go. I know there was a reason I came here, but for the love of all that's holy, I can't remember what it is. It's like something was pulling me here, you know? Yes, I called you. I seen your demon. You recognize my amulet? My power? Aye, not something I'm anxious to toy with, if I'm being honest. You fear it? You should fear it too. I don't think you understand what you're dealing with. The power taps into a darkness inside of us all. You can't ignore it. You can only hope to control it. So you do understand it. With you as my servant, I will be even more powerful. No, I... You don't have a choice. When do we start? Now, find me a soul. Together, we destroy her. Yes. That was impressive. How did you feel? Powerful. Ready to take on all of WWE. In time, controlling the dark side in a match like this is very different than trying to control it in front of a crowd facing another superstar. It feeds off that adrenaline. Good. I'm getting stronger. It's time. The fact that you can feel it is exactly why you need to be careful 
after a few more matches. It is only those standing in my way who need to be careful. Understood. I'll set up a match and pray. Get ready to be spellbound by Cap. The Poison Pixie has returned. Tonight, Candice LeRae is hoping the bright lights of Raw can limit Cap's darkness. That's going to be a tough challenge, especially considering Cap has Finn Balor in her corner. I'm not sure what this alliance is all about, but considering Finn has some demons of his own, it can't be anything good. Oh. LeRae's on her last breath. And shoulders are down. Two. And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner, Bad Amy! A look at the feet on the face of Candice LeRae. How Candice handles things moving forward is going to make all the difference in the world. This loss could eat at her, or she could decide not to let it beat her. That's what I was afraid of. Me becoming even more powerful. You going too far? I saw it in your eyes. It took control of you. You need to learn how to harness it, not let it harness you. I will not deny my power. I will not hold back. I know what can happen if you stop being able to control it. If you won't slow down and listen, I can't help you anymore. This was a mistake. Your mistake is saying no. You say I can't harness it. You understand me. I can harness it. I can harness you. What? No. Cap. We can talk about this. Finn Balor has arrived. Say hello to the Prince of Judgment. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day. From Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. The Balor Club has been disbanded. The only support this man needs is from his family in the Judgment Day. I hate to agree with you on this, Corey, but you're right. Balor has never been more dangerous, more competitive, more successful than he's been with the Judgment Day. 
He added the undisputed tag titles to his resume as part of the Judgment Day, and Balor's leadership has brought championship glory to every member of the group. And the Prince is also taking his rightful spot back in the main event picture where he so rightfully belongs. The punishment of the Judgment Day is here. Damian Priest, an intimidating figure who prides himself on being pure evil. And his opponent, representing the Judgment Day from New York City, weighing in at 249 pounds, Senor Money in the Bank, Damian. Damian Priest is dead set on growing his legacy, on bringing more and more glory to his name. And he's done just that, Cole. A modern-day bad guy picking fights and winning gold. But it's never enough for the power-hungry Damian Priest. You're about to enter a battle against the Prince, Finn Balor. No turning back now. It's unclear what caused the issue between these two, but looking at Finn Balor's corner, it's easy to guess who. Finn was in Cap's corner for her last match. Maybe Cap's just returning the favor. I wouldn't describe his expression as one of gratitude, Saxton. Something nefarious is going on here. Oh, and a reversal. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. He gets back into the ring. One of the elbow finds the mark. Compromised position here. Oh, right to the front. Tripling attack on the knee. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Got a forearm. Stomp right to the gut. Added pressure afterwards. Ugh. And met with a right hand. Boom! Stone slam. And into the count. Staying in this one. Priest ready to dole out the final punishment to Balor. Priest has his opponent up. Powerbomb. Priest ended this fight. Makes the cover. Wow. Very few superstars possess the fortitude to do what we just witnessed. Very few? How about almost none? This match just went to the next level. Priest clearly thinking, what am I going to have to do to put this one away? Sling blade by Finn Balor. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. The question is if his opponent will be here. It comes. Did that finish Priest off? Cover. Two. Finn Balor certainly seemed to hit another gear out there tonight. He looked like a man possessed in more ways than one. Whoa! I'm not sure I like the look of this. What's happening? been replaced by his alter ego. We don't need a referee. We need an exorcist. And unfortunately, he's already taken out the only priest in the building.
I did what you asked. What you compelled. Now please, leave me alone. Relax. You're free to go. Until I need you again. Then you answer to me. Understand? I don't. I do understand. Thank you. Exactly. How did you do that? Because this soul is mine. With your help, we, the darkness and I, have taken control. I have taken control. There is no we. Fine by me. You don't understand what you've done. I warned you what would happen. I warned you. I didn't take it as a warning. I took it as a promise. 